Anga on the Cape Flats are taking it at the extra mile. A group of female and male learners have literally moved into the school in a bid to improve their results. The learners have turned classrooms into makeshift bedrooms, wash their laundry and eat at the school while studying hard for the exams. Ekamba led to secondary school does not have a hostel, but at present it houses 74 metric learners. Classrooms have been turned into bedrooms, laundry rooms and whatever else needs to be done. But most importantly, these learners have ample time to focus on their studies. Many of them come from poverty-stricken areas, not always ideal for studying, and so they approached the school on whether they could move in. The class of 2015 did the exact same thing, and the marks improved drastically. Surprisingly, at the end of the year, uh, the, the results improved from 35.7 in 2014 to 60% in 2015. So when we started this year, the push was still there. This matrix of 2016 said, ma'am, can we move in in March? That was March when we're preparing for term one. Their aim is to now surpass a last year 60% pass rate, but most importantly, improve a max for university entrance. Since I live at a location that is full of noise, uh, I live next to shipping and my siblings make noise all the time because they are younger, so I don't get a chance to study quietly in peace. And studying in groups works for me. At 3 o'clock, we are studying. Then I, uh, Half past at five o'clock, it's a lunch time. Then at six o'clock, it's again a class after, until eight o'clock. Then we go to sleep. Their living conditions are far from ideal, but these learners say they will persevere to change their circumstances, not only for themselves but their families too. Hundreds of Kasati members are protesting at the Lily Gold Mine near Babaton in Bumalanga in a bid to force mine management.